Hi guys, Mrs. Chester here, and I want to give you a uh, quick review and a smash or pass, which is sincerely on the line between smash and pass here. This is The Life and Runnings of C.S. Lewis by Professor Lewis Marcos uh, from Houston Baptist University. Now, I love the teaching course, uh, the, the courses that are in the teaching company. It's uh, from a catalog called The Great Courses, and I actually borrowed this one from the library because I really wasn't in the mood to spend money on it. And unfortunately, it came without the accompanying booklet. And it's six CDs, uh, it lasts six hours. And I did the whole course yesterday. Let me tell you how I feel about it. First, I must say that the professor is very pro-Lewis, very enthusiastic, and seems to show a decent knowledge of Mr. Lewis. Uh, it was not particularly an autobiographical, uh, sorry, a biographical course, so much as it was an overview, but I feel there were some weak points, and I'm being as nice as I can with this, because um, actually this is my third, my third take on this. Uh, first of all, I think the, the, the gentleman in question who pr presented this course is obviously not a comparative religion scholar. He kept referring to the Tao as the Tao. And this really put me off my feed and may have colored my impressions of him. Secondly, as uh, I seemed to hear, he, um, when he found a point in Lewis that sort of meshed with his agenda or with another book he wrote on Lewis. He actually wrote a book on Lewis about how Lewis can help us cope with modern times. He seemed to kind of stress that more than was necessary. And I also feel that the course itself was unbalanced. Now, Lewis wrote a great deal. We can't expect everything to be covered. And there was a good, um, a good portion of it was given over to his, his early works, uh, Pilgrim's Regress, Mere Christianity, um, screw tape letters, uh, a, an in-depth look at, there goes my phone again, an in-depth look at The Great Divorce, and it seems that The Great Divorce and The Screw Tape Letters are also his favorite works, but there was way, I wonder why they keep ringing, but there was way too much emphasis, <laughs> way too much emphasis on Lewis's children's novels. In fact, three of the four last lectures were on the oh, I lost my train of thought three of three of the four last lectures were on the um, Narnia tr tr not trilogy <laughs> the, the Narnia series and he sort of gave blow by blow descriptions of the the plot of Narnia maybe he knows them really well because he has kids he mentioned he has kids but as a comprehensive study of Lewis, I wouldn't recommend it, wouldn't recommend it. And it also gave me an idea or the impetus to read some other things he's done because uh, the gentleman recommended uh, that if you're going to go into classical literature, uh, Lewis still has books out there that are used by uh, scholars regarding Homer because Lewis was a great reader of the classics. This is kind of slipshod, and I apologize. This is the third time I've done this. And either the light's gone out or, or the phone's gone off. So like I said, a solid C on this. It's better than knowing nothing about Lewis, but I would not recommend it. Um, even as an overview, because it's not a comprehensive overview. It's, it's a, a partial overview. I think it's um, more than a bit biased towards certain things. Okay, that's me and I'm done and I'm not going to do a fourth take on this. Um, I'll let you know how I'm doing later in the week. We have a tropical storm coming this way tomorrow. So everybody stay dry. Bye.